All right, here is the broken mast. Here's where it broke. So here's the boom tube. And you can see suspiciously that this bolt is right where you have the breakage inside. So it almost makes me think that this bolt had something to do. You can see how the brake is uneven. Yes, there is some ashy look down in there. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily the, um, I wouldn't say that it is corrosion that caused this break. I'm thinking that this bolt had something to do with it. Now, so you can see, let's look at this. This is also where there is a pop rivet and the brake extends right up into there and let's look at that wall thickness that is 0.063 wall thickness now right next to it is 0.125 that i just got this thing is so heavy this section is heavier than this whole section of mass that's real mast this is so darn thick I'm not even sure I can use it. It's so thick. It's so heavy. Now, let's look at the all-important join. This is where the three and a half, or the three inch and the two inch are joined. You can see that there's pop rivets and then he used some, looks like schedule 40, that he cut into sections. And you'll see there's a pop rivet here and here. So that's how far this goes into the current tube and then comes on up and he and it comes down to two inch here right there's two inch and so here's the secret of making your own mast a couple pop rivets here not sure why that is there you can see that it certainly is rusted out but again i'm not sure that it needed any more than the pop rivets and then here's the top so once again got a join and then up there's a join so still planning on on adding this now there is how much longer this is so that is equal right there to where the current join is and then you can see this is how much I need to add on there so I would still be cutting off this section cutting it off there and you can see he puts a foot on or this section so that it'll rotate on this so this is the mass by the way here's the three sections of 0.125 there's a two and a half but here's 0 0.083 that i bought somewhere else so this was what i was going to use for the cross section cross member one of the cross members for the slingshot 16 but i may end up using this for my bottom section of the replacement mass and then utilizing these two guys as my cross beams that way they're nice and strong as solid cross beams, but they're uh, not up in the air as part of the mast. So, that's that.